Uh, I own a company called, or co-own a company called Hemingway Design. Uh, we've been going 36 years. It's not a lecture this, so at any stage you, you can ask questions. I quite like a, a, a lively debate. It was really inspiring. The theme of it, I think, was for him to give us a little bit of insight into the beginning of where it all began and show us what his message was and that that's the most important thing. It was more about um, Wayne's background and you know, where he came from, how he built the company. Hearing it from somebody like Wayne, he took a lot of chances but succeeding, but still retaining all the values that he had originally. It was really good. How, how did we build Red or Dead? I mean, we went on to become designers of the year for three years on a row with Red or Dead. We had no experience in fashion, being fashion designers apart from Jerry and self-taught. Um, but what we did is uh, take some uh, amazing, amazing risks on, on the catwalk. He was talking about basically thinking a lot more about the message that your company stands for. That was the thing I think I took from it the most. What's your mantra, your message? Um, and that will then drive your, your business forward, giving you purpose and reason. We made a decision very early on to mean something. And that's when we went away and we, and we, we said, right, we're going to stand for something. We're going to stand for the, most, the world's first affordable design the label. And that gave us that raison d'etre. And it gave us that thing that other people could look underneath the name. And it gave us all the time these reasons to do things. We pulled all our clothes out of Macy's, and Macy's New York and Harrods and instead decided to sell to Topshop and Miss Selfridge. So eventually we sold Red or Dead. We sold it after 16 years of owning it. We were still in our 30s. So we, we, we'd come up with that phrase, design is about improving things that matter in life. And we thought, as long as we stick to that, uh, and we just, that, that will hold us in good stead. This is a great example of it. We had never designed a house before we did this estate. Not one single house. So I said, well, how many houses will this take? And he said, between 760 and 800. I thought he wanted us to do like a handful of concept houses. I said, well, and how many do you want us to do? He said, what about all of it? And Jodine said, yeah, we'll do that. You've got to have somebody to show you that it is possible and having other entrepreneurs all different levels within the same uh, forum you can talk to people find out you know what went right for them what went wrong for them you know it's important to have a network like that that's almost like a support network design is about changing hearts and minds and improving things that matter in life and that thing about being brave and we've always done it we never kind of risked everything but we'd always just like let's just have a go at that because what's the worst that can happen we have to start again we always felt like, well, if this goes wrong, we'll learn from it and we'll come out stronger. We've always, we've always felt like that and I think it's, we do it to this day. It's been eye-opening and inspiring and um, I find it really interesting to meet lots of different people. I've learned a lot today and it's been something I would definitely like to come back to.